Toronto's finest, no doubt. I beg your pardon? I hope you're accustomed to losing. Oh, but of course you would be. You are Canadian, after all. <laughs> Don't let it bother you, Rebecca. Oh, are you going to race, too? Oh, no, that would be silly. You're far too frail to compete against real women. Rebecca? Doctor, you need to trounce these women. I must say, Murdoch, maybe I was wrong. It's actually quite impressive when you sit down and watch it in person. I must say, Murdoch, I'm starting to see the appeal. Sir? They're real competitors, these ladies. They're not just beautiful women on wheels. One of them may be a killer. Others may have threatened our victim's life. Look, I'd think I did it too if I were you. You probably heard about the time I slapped Mrs. Palmer in the face for looking at me funny. No. Oh, well, one time I slapped Mrs. Palmer in the face for looking at me funny. You certainly aren't helping your case here, Miss Preston. What do you want me to say? That I wrote the letter? Fine, I wrote the letter. You threatened to kill Mrs. Palmer. Sure. But I wouldn't be saying all of this if I had killed her, right? I don't know. Why would you be bothered to utter empty threats? Well, she said exactly the same thing to me. She said she was going to kill you. Surely did. Sophie and I were always close, so her mother decided that I was to blame for ruining her life and morals. Told me to leave town or she'd kill me. Did anyone witness her uttering this threat? Well, she didn't utter it. She wrote it. A letter? Do you have it? Sure, I carry it around with me everywhere I go. Please answer my questions directly, Miss Preston, and you can keep your sarcasm to yourself. Or what? I'll get a spanking? <sighs> What did you mean when you wrote, you will never be able to stop us? Mrs. Palmer always acted like she was in control of everything. Every one of us, every bit of our whole lives. But she couldn't stop us from skating. Not even her own daughter. But she did. By moving her family to Toronto. For a while. Until Sophie did what she had to do. Did what she had to do. Sophie might come across as innocent. But she always gets what she wants. If she wanted to skate, she'd stop at nothing. She'll never skate again. I didn't do a thing. Liar. <laughs> Listen, old man. If I did it, I'd be boasting about it all over town. <laughs> <laughs> the girl made short work of you there. Forever. So, shall we speak with the skaters? Sir. Ladies, a word? Hold it, Myrtle. Sir. We need to establish where they all were at the time of Miss Palmer's attack. In a minute. Watch. Bloody good, aren't they? Yes. Very fast. More than just fast. Be that as it may. Stop! <laughs> Don't stop for him. <laughs> Good luck out there. I don't need luck. No, I suppose not. You'll lose all the same. <laughs>
Clever man. Who cares? Anyone can see that. Please put that down. I suspect that you all bet on the eventual winner of the races. In this case, Mildred. And then all work together to ensure that result. Is that against the law, detective? No. Cat amongst... I'll relish it, Inspector. Are you sure this is going to work? If you... <laughs> Oh, that is close! 